If you live in the countryside, the chances are the speed of your internet connection can be summed up in one word, slow. It's a massive problem for the big companies like BT and Virgin. It's often not commercially viable to dig up the roads and lay cables, and that means some are being left behind. But not for two Hampshire villages. Little London and Smannell near Andover have a connection that rivals many towns and cities. Jonathan Blake and his wife Jane have lived locally for more than 20 years. They write nutritional software for farmers. The business now flows across the world. We have great big uploads we have to do every year and that's been fantastic as well. So would you have had to move had this not been introduced? I think we would have done because the business was expanding, because we relied more and more on the internet to get the information out to farmers around the world. In Little London, they've done a UK first, connected to the fibre broadband that Hampshire County Council had rolled out to the local school. The Oak in Smannell has fast internet because of a different solution, wireless broadband via a mast. We didn't really have broadband before. Um, what, we, what we did have was um, just a mobile connection. Um, so uh, what I was doing in the past was actually sticking my mobile in the window just to get my business emails. The government's broadband programme aims to provide a super-fast connection to 90% of the UK by 2015. But what of the 10% left behind? We have a rural community broadband fund for individual communities to apply to, a, a small amount of money, about 20 million that they can apply to. We have five projects, I think, in the southeast that have got through the first stage. So uh, we don't want to leave them behind. And certainly after 2015, I think whoever is in government will look very hard at how you can increase speeds in that last 10 percent. For some, these two villages are proof that a focus on a programme that relies heavily on one solution is short-sighted. Every village is unique, every town is unique, so we actually need the whole industry to work together um, with many different providers, many different technologies to provide a uniform 100 percent solution. Um, without that, we're going to end up still with pockets of homes that, that will never be covered um, but the headline figures will, will show that the majority have been and hence met the government requirements. In Little London you can get a broadband speed of up to 40 megabits per second. Smannell has up to 20. In many ways the technology has secured village life for the future. It's kept businesses local and while some fear the effect poor speeds could have on house prices, residents in this corner of Hampshire can rest easy. The super fast highway hasn't left them behind. Alastair Fee, BBC South Today.